all right so in this session we are going to discuss case locking okay case locking in pega so in pega there are two type of locking that we support one is called default locking and the other one is called optimistic Now, when um, when you create parallel assignments or more than one assignment, okay, in a case, what happens if both of those users try to open or update the case at the same time, or maybe some background process want to uh, basically update the case, and someone some other user is trying to access it. So, how does we handle that scenario, right? We don't want them to override each other's data. So that's why we need locking, okay. So Pega case locking supports two type of locking, the default and the optimistic. In the default locking, as soon as the first user opens the case, the lock gets acquired by that user. Okay. So if someone else tries to open an assignment on that on that case or tries to update the case uh, or open the case to update the case, they will see a message that okay, this case is being worked upon by some other user and you need to acquire the lock or you 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 can actually view the data in the review mode but you cannot open it to uh, basically update the case so the second person will have to wait until the lock is released by the first user the lock gets released when the user submits the form or there is a setting that we do in the default locking that for a what duration will the lock be acquired by the user if the user is not working on the case okay so let's try doing the first condition uh, let's try to test the first scenario okay the default locking so we have a case new saving account go to the setting and you see the locking section here right so allow one user that's the default setting allow multiple user is the optimistic locking okay so this is allow one user and this is allow multiple users all right see the default value for timeout is 30 second 30 minute if you want to override you can override okay so now it will be 5 yes let's save it so if you look at the case um, we are creating two parallel assignment for the approval okay just to demo this scenario uh, the first one is going to this user the second one is going to be another user the reporting manager of the current user who will create the case so let's create the case I mean, doesn't really have to be so I'll just submit this we don't have to worry about the data so when I submit it this is assigned to Mahesh MGR and Mahesh MGR1 now let's log in with these users two users and see how does the system behaves so the first user is This is the one user. All right, let me access that. So, oh, it should have been in my work basket. Did I log in with the right user? This is my SMGR1, yeah. Okay, let me go to the dev studio. Yes. 
I should see that assignment there. Just a second. Let's see. So this is Mahesh MGR1. Okay, no problem. Let me try to access the case file. Sorry, I'm in a different application, that's why I don't see it. So let me open the operator and uh, add OBS user. Sorry, this is the default. Okay, so now I see that, right? Uh, I am opening this from this user. So you can see all the active lock in the system from admin, um, from Dev Studio. So if you go to the configure and case management tools, my work, uh, sorry, work admin, and then my lock, that will be lock of that user and all locks. So see, at this point of time, there's one lock acquired, okay? You click on this. So this user has logged this work item with this handle, right? Now, if some other user, I can try to log, um, basically you um, open this assignment using the admin user itself. So if some other user tries to access it, so it shows a message that okay, this is currently being modified by this user and may not be edited simultaneously. <clears throat> you cannot edit it simultaneously. You can see the data, the read only view is there, right? Uh, if there was a data, we will see that. But the other user is prevented to access the case in the edit mode. All right, so that's the default locking. The second one is optimistic locking. In the optimistic locking, all users can open the case in the edit mode, okay? As soon as the very first user submits the case, the log get assigned to that user and um, the data gets written to the database of course and all other users who have opened that case they will get a message when they try to submit that okay the case has been modified you need to refresh it all right so let's see that scenario and okay as soon as the other user approves the case so this log gets released from the first user right if you see um, again The lock is no longer available right and the other user now can open the assignment and it will not block that user okay can approve it all right let's try it optimistic locking allow multiple user that's it okay save it now in this case, let's create one more case. Submit. Again, two assignment got created. I have logged in with MGR1. So let me go to the home and this is the next case, right? If I open this, I have it in the edit mode. The other user, if tries to open it, they also get the edit mode. They both get the edit mode right but if i submit from one user and now i try to submit from the other user it will say that okay this case was updated by this man uh, this user on this date and time refresh the screen to update the values and then proceed to work you can customize all these messages if you wish to that's okay so i will have to refresh it again then it will take the update from the other users to the clipboard and then I can approve it. So that's the optimistic locking. Optimistic locking is relevant when there is a lot of read only information for the user and very less field to be entered because otherwise they will have to refresh and they will lose 
all the information that they have submitted so it's not ideal to use optimistic locking when you have big forms a lot of data entry has to be done really i mean just assume that scenario that two users working on a 50 field form one submits first the other has to refresh and lose all the data that will be very irritating right so in those scenarios we should try to use default locking right where there is a lot of data entry uh, when there are uh, scenarios where um, more than one user need to access the case but they won't be doing a lot of data entry just mostly reviewing the uh, information on the case you could go for the optimistic locking all right so this is about uh, the locking in Pega.